So I've had a couple people ask me about how I call um, and if I use Photo Mechanic, and I do use Photo Mechanic. So I kind of wanted to walk you through what I do in my calling process um, and just how show you how fast Photo Mechanic really is um, and what it can do and how it can probably cut your calling time in half um, because that's what it did for me. So I'm just going to show you what I do and pretty much what this program is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and actually plug in a card. Um, this is, so if I got home from a shoot, um, I'm plugging in the card right away and it has all the raw files on it. Um, so we'll see it pop up on the left in just a second here. Um, I don't press ingest um, this way just because that's not um, how I call, but some people choose to do it. Um, and you'll see your card pop up over here. And we're going to go ahead and open the folder with all the raw files. So as you can see, um, this is how quickly the pictures have popped up. This is directly from the card, and these are huge raw files. And they are already crisp and clear, um, and the loading time is very minimal. Um, so that's one of the, the biggest benefits, I think, of Photo Mechanic. Um, I know some people use Lightroom to call, and I just don't think it's quite as fast. Um, so if you are using Lightroom, you can see kind of compared the difference um, just by watching me just click through these photos. Um, so what I would do next um, for a portrait session I actually call from the card um, and then I only drag over the raw files that I'm going to edit um, so anything that's out of focus or just not a good shot um, actually doesn't make it onto my hard drive. So let's say if I was calling this um, what I do is use the color coding through Photo Mechanic so if you press um, you may have to go into preferences to set this, but um, a simple Google search, there's actually a Wikipedia page for Photo Mechanic that I'll link to um, that shows you all the shortcuts. But if you press um, 1 through 8, it's actually color coding. So um, I press 5, which is green, so I'm pressing the number 5 on my keyboard um, for any photo that I want to go ahead and copy to my hard drive. And pretty much anything that's in focus or just a good shot is going to make it onto um, the hard drive. So really I'm only cutting down probably by half. So I'm still keeping a huge number of pictures and probably more than I'm actually going to edit. Um, so that's what I will do for the whole card. So this is all still on the card and you can see just how fast everything um, is loading. So I would go through, if I was calling this, I would go through and um, flag the pictures that I want to possibly edit. So let's say I did that um, and I had a bunch of greens. So what I would do is drag the greens then. Um, I would right click and press copy. And um, I'm not going to delete the originals yet just because I like to keep my cards, um, the raw files on the cards until I've deleted. I've delivered the images, so I'm not going to delete the originals, but I'm just going to copy them to my hard drive. So um, those are not being moved, they're just being copied, which means you still have the full image, but there's still um, a copy on the, on the card as well. So then Photo Mechanic um, allows you to navigate all of these folders that are also on your hard drive. So we would go to, I've already actually um, done this, so now you can see what the long process would be like. Um, so I'm glad that I just did this because this shows you, um, we just had this card open, the same shoot, but it didn't save the greens from the first time I called. So Photo Mechanic will not save your culling on the card. Um, so... I've already called these, but it wasn't there because it was on the card. Photo Mechanic only saves what you do if it's copied to like an actual location besides your card. If I hope that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and open up her actual folder. So these are all the, the greens. Um, so this is the first round of culling. So I took it from about 1,000 pictures, I believe, to 431. Um, and this por typical portrait session, I deliver like a hundred images so this still has around two of calling to go through so now what I would do so first round I called when they were big because I like to see if they were in focus and a little shortcut is if you press um, the Z key it'll zoom in um, and you can check and see if it's in focus and that's the letter Z on your keyboard um, so the first round of calling I'm looking at them big and then the second round I'm looking at them small because it just allows me personally to see um, 
just the overall composition a little better when it's tiny. And I know that these are already all in focus, so I don't have to worry about seeing them big. Um, so what I would do on the second round, which I haven't done quite yet, that's on my um, to-do list today, but I would go ahead and mark it up the next color, which is, um, I use this blue, and that's the number six. Um, so then I would go through and it, ha it really happens pretty quickly because um, you can click through so fast and these are um, it's loaded just as quickly as it would from the card which I think is says um, really good things about this photo mechanic program so after I went through and did the second round of culling sometimes I do a third but usually I only have to do two um, I would hi go ahead and press the green and that hides all the greens um, and I already have my these are my sneak peek ones um, the dark blues so those are already there um, but now this would be like the second round of culling. And from here, I would um, use the shift key to select everything. And then I would drag them into Lightroom. Um, and that um, keeps the images. They don't actually get moved anywhere else, but it just uses them from their hard drive location in Lightroom. And then I'll edit them in Lightroom. So I hope that was a little um, a good little introduction to how Photo Mechanic works. Um, and just how quick it is. If you're using Lightroom or um, I used to use Adobe Bridge, um, I think this just, the first time I used this, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never going back. And I believe it's $150, but it's so worth the investment. Um, it, I mean, you're going to make so much more than that back in the time that you're saving over the years and years of being a photographer and um, not spending so much time culling. So I hope that was helpful. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.